I think for something to be a genuine challenge, there has to be a chance of failure and a chance that things could go wrong. And with this, there's absolutely a chance that things could go belly up. Will I definitely run seven ultras and seven continents in seven days? Absolutely not. Will I give it my best shot? Definitely. But there could be problems with logistics in terms of flights might not run, I might not be able to get replacement flights, I might get an injury, I might just not actually be physically strong enough to do the challenge. I've trained pretty hard so I'm confident on that. It's a huge relief to get the first ultramarathon run, not only to actually get 50 kilometres in Antarctica under my belt, which is probably one of the more difficult um, locations to run, but also that we know that the ice jet is coming, we know that that's going to be on time. I thought that I'd get plenty of sleep, but it's worrying about the logistics and how things are going to work for the next leg that actually prevents me from sleeping that well. That and <laughs> uh, industrial quantities of small children on flights constantly screaming, which is actually to be expected, and I think, I mean, that's pretty normal. But nevertheless, it doesn't really help if you're trying to sleep. It's just a brilliant feeling completing seven ultra marathons on the seven continents and to do it in five and a half days or so is just amazing. I thought that I'd be able to do it in under seven days, so actually getting it done a day early feels amazing.
my body feels absolutely wrecked. We know that regular exercise is one of the best things that you can do for your health, but perhaps running 50 kilometers each day for a week uh, will leave you a bit tender. Every joint that I've got aches. Uh, I'm completely shattered both physically and mentally. I think, genuinely, I think 50% of this challenge has been mental and 50% has been in the head. Because the most difficult thing has not been the injuries that I've got. I know how to deal them, uh, deal with them. I do, I, I'm a doctor, but it's actually just sticking one foot in front of the other when things are so tough, when you've had so little sleep, when you're so jet lagged, when you're forgetting things, and that's been the most difficult thing for me.